Afternoon everyone and welcome to today's craft video and how I made these two pictures using window stickers and photo frames and fairy lights. I am actually going to be giving this one away so if you want to be in with a chance to win this then stay till a little bit later on in the video and I'm going to show you how you make it and then also I made this one. This one is for myself and I really love it. I wasn't too sure about the purple lights I think I might change them because when I bought them I didn't know they were purple but I'm it's actually kind of growing on me so I might keep them like this but let's get into today's video and I'll show you how I made both of these so the first thing you're going to need are some photo frames these are from Poundland I only ended up using one gold one in the end I originally planned on using two but I only ended up using one and I used both of the white photo frames so if you're going to make them both you'll need four, three photo frames if you're making the first one you'll just need one and if you're making the second one you'll need two you'll also need some of the window stickers again these are from Poundland so a pound a pack I've got the white ones which I used for the second one and then the other ones the colored ones I used in the first um, craft that I will show you how to make and the one that I'm giving away so you'll also need some fake snow I ended up only using the artificial snow this is from Poundland a pound a pack I was planning on using some of the snow blanket but in the end I decided against it and then you'll also need some fairy lights of your choosing these are the ones that were actually purple and I didn't know that they were when I bought them and then I used some micro lights for the first one the gold one and these are also from Poundland for a pound a pack and I think you get 20 on the micro lights I used mm -hmm. some glue dots to keep the battery packs in place behind the photos and then you'll need a mixture of foliage of your choice and some of this is from the market that I paid from a pound some of it's from Poundland and yeah we'll get into today's craft video guys see you in a bit so you'll also need a glue gun and a pair of scissors a pair of tweezers and yeah that's everything so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back off the frame and I'm going to pop it to one side. We will be needing it a little bit later on. But I'm going to just glue the glass into the frame. So I'm just going to add glue all the way around the frame. And then I'm just going to place the glass into the frame so that it sticks down and won't move. I'll be back once I've done that, guys. So I've done that. It's stuck in place. And now I'm going to start to design the window stickers how I want them so I'm just going to cut them out off the sheet and place them where I want them as a rough idea and then I'll stick them down once I'm happy with it so I'm just going to use a pair of scissors to do that so I started to get an idea of how I want it to look so I'm now going to just start to pop these into place so I'm going to start with the tree in the middle and these are on the outside of the frame that I'm sticking them in and then I'm just going to add some of the snowflakes and stars around the outside and I'll be back once I've filled it and I'm happy with it so here it is I'm really chuffed with how it's looking and yeah we can start to add the snow into it now so I'm just going to place it face down take some of the artificial snow and I'm just going to completely fill the back of the frame with the snow and I want to make sure that it's nice and full and there's hardly any gaps And I'm happy with the amount that I've got in. We will be putting the back on so I don't want it too full. But I'm going to take the sheet that was in the photo frame and I'm going to place it with the white side facing down. And this is just to hide any gaps in the snow once we put the back on. So now I'm just going to add the back to the frame. And it was a little bit tricky. Um, it needs a little bit of uh, popping into place and... I eventually managed to get it how I wanted it. I 
and then I just pushed the little metal strips in the back down with some tweezers and made sure it was completely in place and here it is with the snow so it's pretty as it is but you know me i'm going to end up adding more stuff to it so i'm going to decorate around the outside and add some lights so i'm just going to use a pack of the micro lights from poundland like i said these are battery powered and i'm just going to start in one of the corners of the frame and i'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue every now and again on the wire not where the lights are and i'm just going to pop that into place And I'm just adding a little bit of the glue to the side of the frame and working my way around. And then I'm going to go all the way around until I reach where I started like so and then I'm just going to put the wire over the frame and then I'm going to work around the outside as well again just using a little bit of hot glue to keep the wire in place and I will be back once I get to the other side So I'm at the other side now and I'm going to leave the bottom bit until I decide what I'm doing with the foliage and we can start to decorate the outside of the frame. So I've got some of this gold sparkly stuff. This is from the market. I pay a pound from it for it and yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. It gets glitter absolutely everywhere, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm just going to cut off a load of sections of this and kind of roughly place it where I want it to be. I don't want to add too much because I don't want to hide all the lights that we've just put on. And this obviously because of the swirls was worked out quite well because you still get to see the lights. And I'm just going to glue bits of it all the way around until I'm happy with it. And I will be back once I've done that. So I'm happy with how much of the gold sparkly stuff I've put on it and now I'm just going to add some of these little holly leaves and I'm just going to cut them off individually and add them to the sides just to hide the frame and I'm going to do the same on both sides and I'll be back when that's done. So now I'm going to add some more holly to the bottom of the frame and I'm just going to use two long pieces and then I need to add some to the centre of the frame at the top and I'm just going to glue that down again with hot glue. And I'll be back when that's done. So here it is, I'm really happy with how it's looking and I'm going to pop it to one side and start on the next one. I'm just going to add some hot, I was going to say hot glue, I'm just going to add some glue dots to the battery pack and then just pop that on the back so it's easy to turn it off and on and it's hidden out of sight. So yeah, we'll get on to the next one guys. So for this one, I'm going to use two white frames. I've glued the glass into the first one and I've took the glass out of the second one. So I've just got the actual frame bit and I'm just making sure I'm pushing down all the little metal strips out of the way because we're going to be gluing the two together. So 
so I'm going to put the one with the glass at the front and then the one without the glass at the back and that's just to make it a little bit deeper because originally I was going to use the lights that had the little baubles on and in the end I ended up taking them off so it was um I needed to make sure there was enough space for him to go underneath but in the end it wasn't that bad so I'm just sticking them two together making sure they're nice and secure and we can start to add the lights so like I said originally I made sure that the frame was thick enough to hide the lights underneath but in the end I realized that actually the little baubles just pull off so I just use the lights without them and I will keep the little baubles I'm sure I'll use them in another craft at some point So I'm just going to check that they work before I start gluing the, them in. I always do before I do any craft with lights just in case one of them's not working. And then I'm now going to glue these exactly the same way as we did the micro lights but I'm going to do them inside in between the dip between the two frames and this is just to hide them. And again, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue and work my way around. There's only eight lights in this pack, which is just enough to go around the inside of the frame. And I'm really happy with how it's looking. So we can start adding the window stickers. So I'm just going to cut them off and then I'm just going to trim around the outside to take off the excess of the plastic. And then I'm just going to pop one in the corner at the top. Again, on the outside of the glass. And then I'm going to completely fill it and I'll be back when that's done. So here it is with the snowflakes on. And I'll show you what it looks like with just the lights. And yeah, really happy with how it's looking. And we can now start to decorate the outside of the frame. So with this one, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. I've got some silver sparkly um, leaves and I've got a Merry Christmas sign. This was 50p from Asda and I'm just going to stick that on the top. And then I've got some miniature wooden trees and I'm going to do a row of them at the bottom of the frame and use some of the shine and sparkle paint from Poundland just to decorate it. And I'm and now I'm going to take you into the hall so I can show you what they look like with the lights off. And yeah. So here's the first one, guys. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be giving this one away. So all I ask is that obviously you subscribe to my channel, um, that you're over 18 because I will need your address to send it. And all I want you to do is write in the comments and let me know what color decorations you have in your home. So yeah, I do gold, I do gold and red in my hall. That's what I'm going to do this year. And then it's blue, white, and silver in my living room. So yeah, um, can't wait to see see what everybody's going to be using for their color schemes and yeah um i'm going to do the draw on the 5th of december so you've got till the 4th to enter if you want to um have a chance of winning this the only thing i will say is don't mention giveaway in the comments because i'll have to delete your comment because i want people who actually subscribe and watch my videos to actually you know have a chance of getting this so yeah so I hope you've liked how to make it and this is the other one. Obviously this is the one that I'm going to be keeping but yeah I've really enjoyed making these two. I wanted to give you two different options and I'm just going to add these candle holders that I got a couple of years ago from Asda behind the frame. And then I'll turn the lights on and we can see what they look like all together.
and here it is so i'm still undecided whether to have purple lights or change the lights to white i'm i can't decide <laughs> i kind of like the purple but it's not going to go with anything in my living room so i'm probably going to change them to white lights but I hope you've enjoyed today's video guys and yeah um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow so take care for now. Bye everyone.